In this video, we're going to go through the first three parts of the gastrointestinal tract, the mouth, the esophagus, and the stomach. The mouth is where the ingestion of food occurs and has several functions. The first is chewing. So chewing will help to mechanically break down food into smaller particles. It will also mix the food with saliva, which is important for lubricating the food to facilitate swallowing. And as you probably tried, if you try to eat food that's very dry, it becomes very hard to swallow that food. Saliva also includes several enzymes, salivary amylase, lipase, as well as lysozyme. Salivary amylase starts to break down carbohydrates. Salivary lipase starts to break down fats. Lysozyme has an immune role. It's part of the innate immune system and it is an enzyme that kills bacteria by breaking down the peptidoglycan cell wall. The esophagus is a tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. And what's important about the esophagus is that there is a cardiac sphincter. As you can see in this diagram, the cardiac sphincter is the junction between the esophagus and the stomach. And the sphincter has an important role of preventing reflux from the stomach back to the esophagus. The stomach is pretty important for the digestion as well as the storage of food. So when food enters the stomach, this distension causes G cells in the stomachs to release gastrin. Gastrin is a peptide hormone that acts on parietal cells in the stomach to release hydrochloric acid. And of course, it's important that while the stomach has a low pH, we don't want it to become too acidic, otherwise the stomach might develop ulcers. So the secretion of gastrin is inhibited by the presence of acid or low pH in the stomach. So that's an example of negative feedback. The hydrochloric acid is important because it acts on pepsinogen, which is a zymogen secreted by chief cells. Pepsinogen in the presence of HCl is converted into its active form, pepsin. Pepsin is a protease that begins to break down proteins in the stomach for digestion. And finally, again, as you can see in this diagram, there is a junction between the stomach and the duodenum, and that is the pyloric sphincter, or the pylorus. The pyloric sphincter has an important role of regulating the release of chyme into the duodenum. So chyme is essentially the term for the food particles and digestive juices in the stomach. And its release into the duodenum has to be carefully regulated to allow for optimal absorption of nutrients in the small intestines. 